got the green light. <laughs>
I bought the wig with my own money, honey. I spent 290 something dollars, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I have the screenshot up here so y'all can see it. Let's see how much money I spent on this freaking wig. Because it was a straight bust down, um, wear and go. I think they're like, what, five by fives or six by something? I don't know. Anyways, I got the wig. My own money. Very proud. Um, and I couldn't wait to get it. And this is from Icy Hair. So, you know, if you are a social media girly, even if you're just like on Instagram or whatever, you know that Icy Hair has been all over the airways um, advertising these wear, these wear and go wigs. I placed my order at the very end of August, like August 25th or something around there. I placed my order and I'm like, okay, well, within a week I should have my wig or maybe two weeks. So a couple of weeks go by and I'm like, okay, where is my freaking wig? I don't have a confirmation number. Well, all I have is a confirmation number for my order, but I don't have like any tracking information. And then my confirmation order wasn't even, my confirmation number wasn't even really like all that. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't do anything else. <laughs> so I basically decide, okay, I am going to reach out. Um, and by this point, this is like the three week mark. I'm going to reach out and see how long it takes. Um, for somebody to email me back because it says on there like hey you can email these two people if you want to if you have um, issues with your order want more information and so I'm like obviously I want more information about my order because where is it so I reach out and nobody emails me back there's like two email addresses um I reach out to both of the emails I don't get any response for about a week and so then i'm like okay let me see what other options they have and i found out that they had a chat option so i go into the chat to see if you know i messed that up to see if i can get anybody to respond in the chat and i do and it's written by zendesk so i was like you know there's supposed to be a real person on the other side allegedly i freaking reach out to the person it's one of the people that they say email and i'm like hey you know i placed my order on this day it's been almost a month later and i don't have anything and they're like okay let me check on that give me your order number we'll do woo so i do that then they say um we're sorry that it's taking so long to get your hair if you switch your links because i got 24 inches if you switch to a 22 inch you can we'll ship it in 24 hours and I was like, no, I don't want to ship it in 24 hours because this is what I paid. And also, I want what I want. And so I was just like, you know what? It's been a month. I had already needed it because I wanted the wig before. I had to travel somewhere for work. Um, oh, I had to film or do something. I had to do something for work. It was something for my day job. And I was like, you know, I really needed this wig like a long time ago in full transparency. But um i don't want it so can i just get a refund can you cancel my order and I get a refund and she's like sure we'll cancel your order and we'll give you a refund and then that was the end of the conversation so i write back and i was like so when is this still gonna be processed and she basically said 48 hours and 48 hours we'll start initiating your refund um whoop de -woo. okay so by now this is somewhere in the middle of september um I'm not 100% sure. And I didn't take any screenshots of the conversation, even though I should have. So, literally the next day, I get an email with a tracking number from like four different institutions of package deliveries, right? I get one from FedEx, DHL, and I think USPS or somebody else. I'm not 100% sure. So, I'm like what oh and i get one from an uh, email from icy hair that says you know they've tracked this is your tracking information it's been shipped and you can't cancel your order now so i'm like is my order still canceled so i give it a day or whatever and i see that it says that my package was like already sent to a different facility um so i was like okay if it was already sent so if it was already heading in the direction of where it needed to go why did it never get to where it was supposed to go so basically they 
turn send it back to the warehouse because i waited a couple of days to see what was going on with the tracking because at first the tracking was like oh you'll have your your wig in like four days and then i was like even though that's not what i asked for if they're actually going to to deliver the wig then that's fine they sent the wig back to the warehouse according to all the tracking information and i was cool on that and so now i'm like okay so i'm gonna give it seven to 14 days to see if i'm going to get a refund y'all like it's about to be october <laughs> and um i haven't heard anything haven't seen anything i haven't been able to contact anybody else or you know nobody has replied to an email like nothing i even made an account with i see here to make sure that i had access and uh, still no wig now i'm like okay y'all tried to jib me out of the wig i ain't gonna say y'all tried to jib me but like there just wasn't enough communication or transparency about y'all shipping process because it doesn't even say a whole lot on the website about how you get your wig um or what is the estimated shipping on that and if that is regular you know like how they maneuver then none of the influencers that work with them are letting it be known that it takes a, a month and then some to get your wig which you know i've worked with chinese hair companies since maybe like 2012 like i've ordered hair and also i used to sell hair i had my own store um well own boutique um and i sold bundles in college i don't know if i've ever said that in a video i probably have but i used to be a wig i used to be a hair dealer before the wigs was all the thing i used to be a hair dealer and the fact that there was like no extra like there's nobody to talk to like nothing who do i file a complaint with i can't about my service where my wig was how long it took for my wig to get to where i wanted my wig to go like i'm blending my concealer out with the m173 brush or 173 brush i don't know how morphe by actually says their brushes anyways so of course that made me very upset y'all i was y'all i really i really didn't want that wig and that transitioned into me getting the hair that i have in my head now because i was just like dang because i had been wearing wigs i had worn my curly wig and i had worn another straight wig from eunice and i was like i really want a different look i want some long hair because the other two wigs aren't really that you know aren't really that long but that has really bothered me and that is the main reason why i don't work with hair companies because if i was an influencer i'm pretty sure i would have got my wig a whole lot sooner or if i would have said that you know i do this type of stuff i would have got my wig sooner but if i am the influenced and i'm the real consumer that has been you know suggested by somebody that you're paying to advertise to come and get these products and i can't get them then i have issue with that and i know a lot of influencers have said that in like multiple videos on tiktok and youtube that they don't work with everybody or they'll stop working with people name brands and names that we know from like aliexpress or amazon or whatever they'll stop working with people simply because customers will come back and say that the quality of the hair is not all that or the customer service sucked so my customer service experience what i see here sucked but it's not my first experience with a brand that is quote unquote popular but that ain't even like as bad as, as it has gotten again working with brands that are popular on social media or um have kind of come up on social media because i have i have complaints even though one of these situations I got my product, sorry, and one of these situations I got my product, so like it's really like Hannah, what are you complaining for? But it took so long, and like nobody responded to me, nobody talked to me, I couldn't reach out to anybody. Like you can definitely let me know what the process is, and I will shut up. If it takes forty nights and forty days to buy something, and you tell me that, or it's listed on your website, I'm gonna shut up and eat that. But if you don't say that. And nine times out of ten, um, let's be real, a lot of these pop-up overnight um, boutiques, especially those that run like Instagram pages or whatever, they are drop shipping. They're drop shipping the fuck out of their stuff, okay? 
and the drop shipping it from our favorite place china which is like no shade i don't mind that it's just really the fact that you could have told me it's just been all over the place so i ordered two things from two different companies right one is serene ice co and the other one is the ice vault which have also plastered their ads all over social media so i'm like okay cool i know everybody's recycling the images of um ari with the with all her chains on and stuff like that stuff didn't directly come from there and then when she does do promo for like the fake jewelry companies she tags them and she talks about them and she does like live unveilings and she mentions them so if you can ever find the originals of those videos then you know exactly like who or where she gets her products from um so i ordered the i ordered a bracelet set from serene i'm going to put the picture here so y'all can see it it's super cute and i'm like okay you know in a couple of weeks i will have my bracelets um that is not what happened it took almost a month for me to get my bracelets which again if that is how y'all do things i would have ate it when i ordered it and been like "Ooh, you know i'm happy i got them so far in advance because they'll be here by an event if i have an event or something they'll be here by an event i need them for i'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer i didn't think i was gonna get them at all if i'm being 100 percent transparent i just did not think i was gonna get um I was gonna get my I just didn't think I was gonna get them at all but the issue is I got two things at once so while I ordered that from Serene Ice Co which I'm not bashing because I did get my stuff and it's cute it looks like the picture I just wish I would have known how long shipping would have took or y'all could have told me that y'all was, you know, waiting on new inventory or whatever. And again, I would have been fine because um, I did reach out to them and got no response. But I also ordered something. From Ice Vault, which as like literally until recently. had kind of been like all over Instagram a little bit. They had been all over Instagram um, with their promo, with their ads, doing story ads, doing promo posts. And I was kind of like, okay, that's no, that's no problem, no biggie. Clearly this is an active account. These are active people. I'm gonna go ahead and see what they got. So I got a custom chain i got another custom chain right well not another but i got a custom chain and basically um i got it i got my middle name on it it was cute it's one of the newer designs because it's a barbie it has the barbie like connector thingy on it um and it was pink diamonds and i just thought it was so freaking cute i had always wanted like a pink diamond chain and i just felt like i really didn't have a reason for it which is why i don't really like buy stuff like that all the time unless i know that like i'm gonna have a reason for it or a reason to wear it so i decided to get this chain i got it as far out in advance as i could because i knew that it was gonna take some time to make that wasn't an issue for me um and i didn't particularly care about that that it was gonna take a minute to actually get the chain in that's fine so i waited like two weeks um to see if i was going to get an update the first thing was i got a shipping number from a uk shipping company which doesn't bother me and i could not check my package like i said that it didn't exist it's not in the system whatever so i was like okay maybe they just don't have the parcel yet because you know if you do usps or any of the other ones they'll be like oh we don't have your package yet so this number doesn't is invalid um yeah so i it's been almost two months now i just want to let me let me tell y'all that it's been almost two months so <sighs> 
y'all. Like, it just, thinking about it just pisses me off. So, I reached out to Ice Vault or Icy Vault, whichever one it's called, and I left a message, as I should. And basically, you know, I got a response pretty quickly, which was, I was surprised that I got a response in like 24 hours. Um, they basically said, oh, you know, it takes a long time to make your chain, so it's gonna take at least four weeks to make it, and then it's gonna take another, um, you know, two weeks to ship it or something along that lines. I do have proof of that conversation, so I will post it. Um, the first the first conversation, the first response I got back, because I hit them up twice, was we're working on it, you know, just, you know, be patient. The second one was like almost a month later, and I was like, okay, like it's been more than four weeks. Can you tell me what the, you know, shipping process is or how long it takes to get my order or like whatever and then that's when they said oh we understand your frustration and um thanks for reaching out and a whole bunch of other things right so i'm like let me just wait a couple more weeks and then maybe i will get my package so i'll wait a couple more weeks Y'all think I got my chain? No, I didn't. And also, I spent over a hundred, I believe, on this chain. Obviously, because it's a custom chain. So now I'm like, let me look at comments under posts, or let me see when the last post was, yada yada. So I reached out a third time, and I got no response to that email. And I thought that was like kind of uber suspicious. Because the first two times I got a response quicker than I thought I would have according to their website. Um, so, and the fact that I got my bracelets out of nowhere kind of reignited the hope that like maybe, maybe the chain is coming. Um, I'm, I'm going to order another one. I'm not even kidding to you. I'm just going to use a different company or I'm just going to go straight to AliExpress because let's be real. We know these chains are not real. Um, so I'm going to go straight to AliExpress to the people who are actually doing the drop shipping and offer drop shipping. And I'm going to order a chain and I know that I have good communication. I can see pictures of reviews and how long that it takes for stuff to ship. And I won't be left out and like just completely oblivious to what's going on as much as I have been. And that is just going to bring me so much joy knowing that not only am I going to get what I pay for, oh, also, and the price is like a third of the price. Like they're charging 150 for like these custom chains and these custom chains only cost like 40, 50 bucks on AliExpress. So that's another one. Now I'm going to line my lips and then the very last thing I'm going to do is put my... finishing touches on and then after that i'm gonna come back with y'all with to y'all with the final look for tonight's gala engagement okay y'all this is the final look i added a little blush uh slippery by ColourPop, um and i put lashes on this these are a pair of my lashes from my lash line that i might bring back just because people have been <sighs> begging me child um these are 96s set um my hair looks a mess because it's been in a ponytail and i left the gym came home got in the shower and sat down in front of the camera so here here is as good as it's gonna get for today okay um so yeah i don't work with brands like that like hair brands or like other brands simply because i don't trust that they're giving all the same quality products you know, I only advertise things that I have paid my own money for. Now, clothing brands is a little bit different. Um, I work with a clothing brand. If somebody wants to work with me, let me know. But yeah, I just, I have no faith. And I have to flatter this little piece out. So yeah, I'm getting ready to put my dress on and go. Because I am already like super late leaving. But this is my look. I used the Max Fix Plus mattes. And then I also sprayed some 
beauty bakery i think it's called instabake um setting spray on top of my face um and that's it oh yeah and i'm going to update y'all on the giveaway the giveaway is officially closed it's done it's complete it's over with we hit 400 we hit 500 subscribers a few days ago um a lot was going on but i did go ahead and pull a winner i'm not telling y'all because i've had issues with bots in the past about in terms of giveaways um or people trying to like scam and give away so i have contacted the winner di directly and all of that is all of that the items getting shipped directly from brand bad girl to them so that's it honey like that's it it's a wrap it's a wrap girlfriend so my next giveaway will probably be at a thousand subscribers because that is a huge milestone that means my channel can finally be monetized and a whole bunch of other things so i thank y'all so much for participating in the giveaway and subscribing because it make your girl real emotional and for everybody else that is still not subscribed go subscribe like what are you doing so that's it for real y'all um and i'll catch y'all in the next video bye